Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and we are once again playing some Evolve. Today we're going to be checking out Griffin of the Trapper class, playing against the Kraken monster, but as per usual, I'll let Sexy Voice Lady do a much better and sexual job at describing this class than I could. Griffin is the Trapper. He hunts down and traps the monster. Sound spikes can detect a nearby monster. An icon will appear on the HUD. Hold the fire button to stop the monster's movement with the harpoon gun. When the monster brings the fight, use the submachine gun to do some damage. The strength of the Trapper class is the ability to contain the monster and force the fight. Deploying the mobile arena is critical to your team's success. Hold the equip button to take the mobile arena down. Load your shooters. Oh, sexy voice lady. What a fantastic job you do at this. If only I could match the voice to a face. But anyways, like I said, we are going to be playing as Griffin of the Trapper class. And I would have to say the Trapper class, especially at the bitter beginning of the game, is probably the second most important hunter in the game. At least at the very beginning. And what I mean by that is obviously I place high emphasis on the importance of the medic just because he's the person that's keeping everyone alive. But the main job of the trapper is to use the ability called the mobile arena. That is throwing that gigantic blue dome in the air and making sure that the monster can't escape temporarily and kind of keeping him confined to a specific area allowing all the hunters to kind of focus in and attack him and distract him and do kind of all that things at once. So a Griffin is a little bit different than Maggie. He has obviously his harpoons but he also what he has exclusively to the class is the sound spikes. I'm pretty sure that I don't make use of them at all but those are a very important thing especially once you get playing against people who are more experienced as a monster. They do a much better job of hiding. They avoid the birds that give away the position, all that kind of stuff. But this is kind of like my second time playing, so I didn't really use it, utilize it that well. And we had a pretty good beat on the monster the entire time. So what the sound spike does is you can lay it down, and if the monster passes it, he can't see them. Uh, and then if he trips them, then he, you get a little indicator on the map, and you can kind of have a general idea of where he is. So we actually were fortunate to catch up with the Kraken right away. I showed you guys video of the Goliath in the last video. I do have gameplay from the Kraken, but I thought I would switch it up and show you guys a Hunter class just so you can kind of see it from the other perspective. So we got him in this mobile arena. He can't escape. If any of our players are in the outside, they can walk into mobile arena, but they can't come out the other way once they're through. So yeah, the role that I played trying to utilize this time is using the harpoon gun. What the harpoon gun is that it kind of shoots a tether that attaches to the monster and he has to swipe it with a melee attack to break it otherwise he's kind of stuck and kind of immobilized for a bit. It doesn't take much for him to break it but what it does is it creates a distraction if he's trying to focus on other things such as trying to break down the harpoon gun as well he's getting shot at by the assault class getting <laughs> getting hit by the support class as well and combined with the sniper through the meta class who is putting weak points in his body. The more distractions you can put against the monster the better that your team's going to be. He, you don't want him focusing on a specific player or being able to easily focus on one specific plan so you want to try to keep a variety of stuff. You also have what you have here is the submachine gun uh, but like I said, I didn't really utilize it that much because I placed a lot of onus on making sure that I was trying to become or act as a gigantic butt the entire game, being very, very annoying to play. So the, the range of the mobile arena is actually really, really big. So the kind of, basically the, what I, what I rely on is if you can hear the monster, the most likely he is in range of the mobile arena. So you can see it right there, he was like almost, I just caught him here, but yeah. yeah a lot of this game is making sure that you're listening to the environment and listening to your teammates around you. So luckily we kind of had a good beat on the monster the entire time throughout this game. And so I said earlier that this is probably the most, the second most important class. 
especially at the very beginning of the game. When you get to the later stages, such as when the monster reaches stage 3, it's not as important because once you reach stage 3, the only way the monster can win is either by destroying all the team mates or all the hunters at once, and in general, you should all be sticking together in somewhat of the same vicinity, or he has to destroy the power relay. In that case, you know exactly where he's going to be. But at the very beginning of the game, he is moving around the map the entire time trying to first get points to evolve, and then that also builds up his shield. But I told you in the last video, the downside is that feeding does not increase your health. It does not bring your health or your red bar back up again. The only way to do that is by evolving. And even when that happens, the you do not get a full bar of health right away. It does not fill up. So what that means is that the whole point ah, right here, I got eaten by the local wildlife, but luckily I had some teammates to give me a hand. So what that means is you want to be chipping away at the monster's health the entire time, especially if you can get next to him right, or if you can trap him right, right as when he is evolved, because once the monster evolves, it no, lo no longer has shield. So that is the prime time. When the monster evolve evolves, that is the prime time for you guys to be laying down the attack and making sure that you can get its health down as low as possible. So right now, I'm trying to stay alive because the only way the mobile, well right now I don't have the mobile arena, uh, so I'm trying to wait for it to rebuff again. It has a very very long rebuff time, it has the longest time of all the abilities in the game, just because it plays such a crucial role. So I'm trying to stay alive here because now I, ha now I have it, but now I got down. I was trying to stay alive the entire time just so I could at least toss it up. And then once I tossed it up, I would once again start evading. But uh, since we, since I got down, then there was really nothing I can do other than sit in last stand right here and put hot shots into the monster that really doesn't do much at all. Uh, so we're dead here. Uh, luckily, we had a Lazarus on our team, so the Lazarus has the ability to revive down players. Uh, or actually dead players, so I was downed and then eventually Sukil got back to me. Uh, I died, but so long as Lazarus gets to you in time, he can still get revived. He's the only medic that can actually do that. So luckily we had a good one on our team. So right now, um, even if I got, even when I got revived, I still have to wait for the rebuff time again for the mobile arena. In that case, what I maybe should have done is try to focus on putting some pot shots into the into the monster, but yeah, I was kind of scared the entire time. <laughs> this game's scary! Someone just smoked, tried to smoke him with an overdose strike right, right there. Uh, that is from the support class. That is the ability there. So, yeah, um, so staying alive especially for the trapper is really really important because the only way that the mobile arena can go down is eventually first it runs out of time or if the trapper gets downed then the mobile arena disappears and then the monster is free to escape into the wildlife at his leisure. So yeah, the whole point of the trapper class, get the monster especially at the very beginning of the game uh, he, and especially after he evolves, make sure that he can't escape. We're trying to whittle down his health as much as possible. Uh, not so much that important in the later stages of the game, just because once he reaches stage 3, he can't evolve anymore. So he really can't, um, can't really, you know exactly where he's going to be. He's either going to be attacking the hunters, or he's going to be attacking the power relay, which I think we are heading to right here. Oh sorry, so no, he hasn't reached stage 3 here, so he's still working either he's trying to find a nice safe place to evolve or he just needs a couple more feedings to have enough experience to evolve. So the you can see why the trapper is so important and why you shouldn't miss when you throw down the mobile arena. It's kind of like the spirit bomb attack from Dragon Ball Z where only you yourself will know exactly when it's the correct time to throw it. It's just a gut feeling that you're going to get. I think I get down here and once I get down the mobile arena it disappears. 
So yeah, you're gonna have teammates yelling at you in your ear. Throw it down or right on his tail. Just throw it down while gun hit him no matter what. I said earlier that the mobile arena's range is really big, but because the recharge time is so long, if you miss a couple tosses, I think I missed two tosses throughout this entire game. And if you missed a couple tosses, you're just going to make you're gonna tilt the advantage in the monster's favor and the match is going to be a lot longer than it should. A typical evolved match lasts about 12 to 14 minutes. But this one, I think, ended up being around 22, and I think it's solely because I missed so many tosses. Two tosses, missing one toss is kind of sketchy, but missing two tosses is kind of unacceptable, in my opinion. But I'm new, so that, so that that was my excuse. And this ring, this match ended up being, I think, 22 minutes. But also give props to whoever was playing the monster at this point. I'm not 100% sure who it was. Uh, they didn't do the greatest of job of evading at the very beginning, probably because it was their first time as well. But the second half of the match, they did a really good job of staying away from us. So you have to give props to whoever was um, controlling the monster this time around. So yeah, do not, do not miss, <laughs> is what I'm saying. And do not get killed if you are the trapper as well, because it's just... First off, you don't want to be, be put in a position where you are trying to constantly be revived. The medic has such an important role, if you can help him out by minimal, minimizing the amount of time he has to help you with health or revive you, it just makes life on the team a lot easier. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I say. I, I think I here I switched over to... This is where the medic died. So we we're like, medic's dead! Everyone run away! Go, go, go! So right now, the only person... Once the medic dies, you are pretty much SOL. So right now, we our assault class was down as well. So the only person left was the support. Luckily, I'm pretty sure they had a cloak. And as you can see, I got down as well. So the responsibility of the last person is just to make sure that they survive long enough so we can get a drop ship in. And yeah, so support. Oh no, this person didn't. I'm pretty sure this class doesn't have the cloak, but he did just a good job of running away. So little time lapse there. We fast forward through the minute 30-ish that we needed to the last person to survive, and we are going to make a B. And at this point, the Kraken he couldn't find the last person, so he went to the power relay and started attacking it. And this is where the quote-unquote final showdown or the last stand happens. And, and since since all four of us are back up, and he does not have he has three he has three bars of health left. He, um, he's not in good shape and we can pretty much, we should win is what I'm saying, but support did a good job here and now we just have to focus in whittling down the rest of his health. I'm going to go back to my thing here of just using the harpoon gun, creating a distraction, being a gigantic nuisance, so he has to focus his, some of his attacks on meleeing me. If, if, so long as he's focusing on me, that means other people can be doing damage to him as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it that wraps down the match. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. We'll do, we can do another hunt class in the next episode. Maybe the Medic. Or we can do the Kraken class, which is the monster. Let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you are, let me know in the comment box. Drop the video a quick like. And I shall see you guys next time, alright? As always, like I say, have a fantastic day.